Well, today we have been working to bring you more answers on an officer involved shooting that took place late last night. We have team coverage this evening and what police and witnesses say happened that led up to the deadly shooting. Now, here's what we know from Spokane Police. The situation began to unfold around six last night when they were called by a neighbor to serve an anti harassment order on the man who was later shot. Officers weren't able to serve the order at that time. A few hours later, around 10, the person called back saying their neighbor was in their backyard with an AR-15 style gun. Several Spokane police officers responded. When police arrived, they say they asked the suspect to lower his gun. According to police, he didn't comply with those orders. Here's what officials say happened next. At some point, shots were exchanged. Um, the, the subject was struck by at least two officers who fired their weapons. First aid was immediately rendered to the, the subject. Um, and he was transported to the hospital for treatment for his injuries. Spokane police says the man died from his injuries at the hospital. Chief Midell says they also found a gun near the man. A Spokane police officers who shot at the man are now under administrative leave, which are the normal next steps in this situation. Now, Spokane police have not released the name of the man officer shot and killed, but his girlfriend reached out to Creme 2 News this morning. She says the man's name was Robert Bradley. Crem 2's Nicole Hernandez begins our team coverage with an exclusive interview. Robert's girlfriend shared photos and videos of the moments before, during, and after police fired their weapons. This is Robert Bradley and his girlfriend, Sarah McLaughlin. He was 41 years old. They were finishing up a busy weekend of camping and enjoying downtown Spokane. We had just gotten back from pig out in the park. We were camping, gotcha. so he was bringing the vans the guns inside from the van. That's when Sarah says Spokane police came down the street. He's digging through there looking for something and he sits up, hands empty before he even like has time to put his hands up. He's dodging bullets. SPD says two Spokane police officers fired the shots, but let's back up and compare Sarah's story to the pictures and video we have gathered. Here's the van Sarah and Robert took camping in North Idaho this past weekend. You can see that same van here in the couple's home security system video. This is just after 10 o'clock last night. You can see Robert walk out of the house, unlock the van, then open the door. As Sarah mentioned, he seems to stand at the passenger door for the next one minute and 15 seconds. At one minute and 24 seconds into the video, you see one two, three Spokane police officers enter the screen. Just five seconds after that, you see the first few shots flash. Then another round just seconds after that. They didn't give any time to react at all. Spokane police say they acted quickly because they had received a report from a neighbor that Robert was outside with an AR-15 style gun. No, he wasn't just wandering around with a gun in his hand. He was just loading stuff in and out like... You do after your camping trip, you know? Sarah says the person who called police is their next door neighbor. Leading up to this was property line dispute. Sarah says he had left this note threatening to tow away and trash anything over his property line. She says both Robert and the neighbor started the process of anti-harassment orders. Nobody was threatened. There was no reason for anybody to get hurt. Now Robert's family is left with frustration. He didn't even have time to put his hands up before they shot him. There were kids in the house, dogs in the house, me at the front door with bullets just flying everywhere for no reason. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News. Nicole, thank you so much. Now,